So here in Romans 6, Paul is talking about our human relationship with sin that we really can't avoid by being born into this world. And he's uh, spending some time here relating it to slavery, which which I think is an awesome analogy that, that we used to be slaves to sin, but now because of uh, Jesus' sacrifice on our behalf, uh, we're no longer slaves to sin. And, and this week here on Wednesday Wisdom, I really want to kind of focus on the verse 11 to 14 range here, uh, where, where he says, so you should also consider yourselves to be dead to the power of sin and alive to God through Christ Jesus. You know, so often uh, in our lives, I mean, before we came to Christ, we, we do have this uh, almost dedication to serving sin, right? It's something that we really can't avoid and uh, we often find pleasure in it and just always go there. And that's that's kind of why he's relating that uh, to slavery. And, and as we know, sin leads to death. But thankfully, Jesus made that sacrifice for us so that we might be alive through him. Uh, going back to verse 14, sin is no longer your master for you no longer live under the requirements of the law. Instead, you live under the freedom of God's grace. And that word freedom, freedom from sin, right? We live in this tension here uh, that Paul's going to be talking about both here in, in Romans 6 and 7. As humans, we live in that tension between uh, sin and being saved by God. And it's a tough place to be in but uh, here he wants us to just really understand that we're no longer slaves to sin we have a choice we can choose to obey our sinful nature or we can choose to try and obey uh, God and what he wants for us and that we we should always try and do our best to follow Christ and his example and and the things that we know God wants us to do but yeah we're going to fall short from time to time, but that's where we need to keep looking to Jesus like we've been talking about. And uh, he will slowly over time help us obey more and more. The more we, we try and live that Christ-like life, the more we'll be successful by inviting him in. There's always going to be that sin struggle, but the more we turn to him, he'll help lift us out of that. So this week I thought uh, what might just be a good idea if we all just took a little moment here, you know, to pause and look at ourselves, evaluate our own life. And what is that big sin struggle in our personal life? What's that one thing that we are literally slaves to that we cannot seem to beat? And, and you know, meditating on Paul's words here in our relationship with Christ, it tells us that Christ gives us freedom from that one thing or many things or whatever that sin is that we want to focus on this week. So, you know, let's just take a minute, uh, look at our lives, maybe pick one of our biggest sin struggles and really just pray through it and, and spend some time uh, with God on that and asking him to help us free, uh, get free from that earthly struggle of that sin. Uh, I hope you're all having a good uh, week. And uh, now the Indy 500 is behind us as a ministry. We're moving on to Detroit and Road America really quick, just supporting this community. Uh, we ask for your prayers in that. And we just ask you to join us uh, next time here again on Wednesday Wisdom. Have a good week.